Hi guys, my name is Rob from Vision PD. Welcome to our channel and welcome to Flat 12. I'm going to give you a bit of a tour before we get on with construction, so let's get to it. So here we are. I've even swept up for you. Can I just say, Rob, that you look absolutely filthy. Yeah, I know. I do do some of the work here sometimes. We're really excited to show you the design, but do you think we should get some of the boring stuff out of the way first? Bedroom, hallway, bathroom, entrance, front door, washing machine, storage, boiler, kitchen, kitchen, breakfast bar, living room, TV, sofa, more kitchen worktop, Proposed for appliances. Don't need to worry about this curtain here. It's just temporary access to my workshop. And I suppose you want to know the price. £140,000. <gasps> it's worth it. I'll tell you why. Yes, well, you see, it's all very good taking us around, but when the design's all in your head, it's very hard for us to see what it's going to look like. If only there was some kind of 3D layout you could do that showed us the size of the rooms and perhaps had some furniture in so that we can see how we might furnish it ourselves. Well, it just so happens that there's something else we do, so you are welcome. It is going to look stunning. I think we should take this opportunity to go through some of the design choices we made. And we should start with the windows because I think that's the primary driver behind the decisions that we made here. And it's because they are so large. They just flood this place with light. And we're going with a white color palette so that we can really maximize the bounce lighting and draw all of the light from these three sides into the back of the flat. And I think that's going to make this feel really big and really light. Each of the flats we're going to be building in this part of the building are going to be unique. We're not just replicating the same flat seven times and copying it through each layout. What I like to do is spend some time in the flat as it is now empty and let the flat tell me what design direction it should take. I know it sounds like mumbo jumbo, but if you sit in it quietly, often you can feel the direction. And this one spoke grandeur to me. And nothing says grand like a chandelier. I know, chandeliers can be a bit musty sometimes. We're going to be painting them white to add a little bit of contemporary design to it. We're going to be going with decorative mouldings, like the skirting board, cornice, and architraves, just to match that design language of grandeur that we're trying to achieve here. So it's no good looking fabulous if you do not also function. And one of the things that we've learned from the other flats in the building is that storage space is really important. So we've tried to add it in here where it feels natural to do so. And the main space for that is the hallway here, because if we kept the whole ceiling height, it would be really unbalanced. So we've dropped it to just above the door height, which means there's a nice big space here for infrequent access items such as suitcases. We've also put the bedroom wardrobe at the back here so that you can really get the biggest bed that you want to in the bedroom. And I don't know about you, but it's super annoying when the washing machine's wearing away when you're trying to watch some TV. So we've put the washing machine and the dryer space in the entrance hallway, so that we don't disrupt any of those TV programs. So in the kitchen, we decided to go with the breakfast bar to give a little bit more space for preparing food and perhaps eating off as well if people didn't want to use up valuable space in the living room with a dining table. But we thought it'd be nice to separate the kitchen from the living space a little bit more. So we've designed this hanging basket for some additional storage 
And I don't think we're going to be able to get anything off the shelf. So I think we're going to be custom making it ourselves. Maybe we'll get the welder out and make it out of metal. Perhaps we'll be doing it out of timber. I haven't yet decided. So after all this white, I felt the need for some color. And where best is to add that than the bedroom? Blue is the color of luxury, not to mention royalty. So we're going to be painting the back wall here and the ceiling in midnight blue, taking the bedroom from a bedroom to a boudoir. Just so you know how much thought we put into the design of these flats, we've specified the luminosity and color temperature of the light bulbs in the kitchen. Thank you very much for joining us. We're going to be taking you through the construction of this flat, so there'll be plenty more videos to come on flat 12, as well as the flats we're constructing upstairs. We do all the design work in-house, so if you need some 3D visualization work doing, get in contact. If you have any tips for us, if you have any design suggestions, please let us know in the comments below. And if this is the kind of content you like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.